Hi, welcome to NPA teaching. Today we are going to discuss the present and future values. The present and future values are the terms which are used in the financial world to calculate the future and the current net worth of money which we have today with us. The value of money can be expressed as the present value or it is also known as the discounted value or it is future value which is also known as compounded value. For example, Mr. A invested rupee 100 in the bank at the rate of 10 percentage interest for one year. It becomes 110 after one year. From this example, this 110 is the future value of 100 after one year. And similarly, this 100 is the present value of 110 which is to be received after one year. Therefore, they are just reciprocal of each other. The future value can be defined as the rising value of today's sum at a specified future date given at a specified rate of interest. Thus, it is the amount of money which will grow over the period of time. Investors use this method to know what will be the future value of their investment after a certain period of time. For example, if Mr. A is invested rupees 1000 for say 3 years at the rate of 10 percentage interest compounding annually then the income will rise in the first year the principal amount at the beginning will be 1000 rupees then interest for one year is the 10 percentage so the 10 percentage of 1000 rupees is 100 and therefore the principal amount at the end of the first year will become 1100 rupees so in the second year the principal amount in the beginning will become 1100 rupees and the interest for the second year is also the same so it is 10 percentage so now the interest is calculated not on the initial principal amount but the the principal amount which is at the starting of second year that is 1100 rupees so the 10 percentage of 1100 rupees will become 110 so the principal amount at the end of second year will be 1210 similarly the principal amount at the beginning of the third year will become 1210 then along with the 10 percentage rate of interest in the third year also so the 10 percentage of 1210 will become 121 so the principal amount at the end of third year will become 1210 plus 121 is equal to 1331 this process of calculation is known as compounding and the sum arrived at after compounding of initial amount is known as the present value so in our example the future value of rupee 1000 is the rupee 1331 after 3 years at 10 percentage interest rate compounding annually. So this was a very simple example in practical use there can be 15 years 20 years in place of just 3 years and the process of compounding calculation as shown above will be very difficult. So in this case this problem can be overcome by using the formula for calculating the future value. So the formula for calculating the future value is equal to PV into 1 plus i raised to the power n. Here FV is the future value and PV is the present value or the principal amount and the i is the rate of interest per annum and n is the number of years for which the amount has been invested. So this is the formula for calculating the future value that is future value is equal to PV into or present value into 1 plus i raised to the power n. So in this equation 1 plus i raised to the power n is the compounding factor which calculate the principal amount along with interest and interest on interest. It is called the future value of interest factor. So in this above formula which helps in determining the future value of any sum in a very easy manner. The formula is helpful to calculate the amount invested for longer maturity period say for example 15 or 20 years very quickly and easily. 
so as we are already discussed in the previous example that is mr a is invested rupees 1000 for example say 3 years at 10 percentage rate of interest so by applying this formula for calculating the future value which is equal to the present value into 1 plus i raised to the power n so here the present value or the principal amount which is deposited is 1000 into 1 plus i which is the interest rate which is 10 percentage so 10 percentage can be write as 10 divided by 100 which is equal to 0 0.10 raised to the power n here it is n is equal to 3 years so the present value is equal to 1000 into 1.10 raised to the power 3 so which is equal to 1000 into 1.331 which is equal to 1331 so which we are already received in the previous example also on the basis of compounding annually so therefore the future value of 1000 which is compounded annually for the 3 years at the 10 percentage rate of interest is 1331 similarly the present value is nothing but how much future sum of money worth today that means it provides us with an estimated amount to be spent today to have an investment worth a certain amount of money at a specified point in near future present value is also known as the discounted value as we are already discussed that future value is equal to the present value into 1 plus i raised to the power n so from this equation we can derive the present value which is equal to the future value divided by 1 plus i raised to the power n we can rewrite the present value is equal to the future value into 1 by 1 plus i raised to the power n where 1 plus i raised to the power n is the discounting factor which calculate the principal amount alone with the interest so in the above equation fv is the future value PV is the present value and I is the rate of interest per annum and N is the number of years for which the amount has been invested. We have an example to find the present value of rupee 1000 which is in due in 5 years times at the rate of interest 8 percentage per annum. So the present value is equal to the future value divided by 1 plus i raised to the power n. So we can substitute these values. So the future value which is the amount which is invested present that is 1000 rupees divided by 1 plus i the rate of interest which is 8 percentage. So 8 divided by 100 which is equal to 0 0.08 raised to the power n that means for 5 years. So it is 5. So the present value is equal to 1000 divided by 1.08 raised to the power n which is equal to 1000 divided by 1.4693. So therefore the present value is equal to 680.58. So the present value of 1000 rupee at the rate of 8 percentage in the year 5 is the 680.58. I hope you are clear about how to calculate the present value and the future value on the basis of the equation which is already discussed in the previous slides. Have a nice day and see you in the next video. Thank you.